the astronaut. She's 14 years old. And one of the questions we get most often is why doesn't she fly away? One thing that happens with young bald eagles is they get hit by cars. They may be on the side of the road eating a, a deer that's been hit and they get startled and they fly up and get hit by a car. She was found by the side of a road when she was young, badly injured. And uh, you can see her is a little droopy. So when she was done being rehabbed by the wildlife rehabber, she couldn't fly. So she's what we call non-releasable rehab. Anytime you see a bald eagle in the zoo, it's going to be a non-releasable rehab animal. It's not legal to keep a, a bald eagle in the zoo otherwise. She, uh, you know, birds actually are descended from dinosaurs. They're kind of the dinosaurs that are still left on Earth. So if you come, we have a prehistoric beasts exhibit right now with big dinosaurs and mammals, animatronic. It's really fun for the kids. And uh, if you come, you'll see the dinosaurs that are the ancestors of the birds that we have. So she's kind of a dinosaur. Her wingspan is somewhere around six feet. I don't know that we've ever measured it or if it would be its full wingspan because she's injured. She weighs about four and a half to five pounds. Bald eagles are actually called bald because they're white-headed. Bald used to mean, uh, back in the 1700s when they were named, it used to mean white-headed. So in California, there's Mount Baldy because it's got snow on top all the time. And uh, if you're reading a, uh, any article or book from the 18th century and they say bald-headed man, they mean a white-headed man. So that's why they're called bald. Sally is 14, Justin just asked that. She was, you know, that's an estimation based on how old they thought she was when they found her. She was 12 when she came here and she's been here two years, so she's 14. Bald eagles are also called fish eagles. They do eat fish. They will hunt for themselves, but as often as not, they'll eat a fish that's, that's died or someone's dropped, uh, another bird is dropped by the side of the water. Or they'll even steal a, a fish from an osprey. Uh, so where do they live in the wild is one of our questions. Charlie asked. Um, they live in Houston. I've seen bald eagles on Bray's Bayou. I've seen bald eagles on Lake Livingston. There was a pair that was breeding in her neighborhood. It, there was a pair that was breeding in Pearland. Um, so there was a time when there were fewer than 100 breeding pairs of bald eagles in the United States. And now you can see them in Houston and all, they're, they're um, widespread. So the, the exhibit we're in right now is called the Texas Wetlands, and it's uh, in the middle of the zoo by the primate section. So if you come in and you walk down the middle of the zoo and turn right at primates, you'll get to Texas Wetlands. We have the bald eagle. We have whooping cranes. Whooping cranes are another bird that was down to near extinction, have been brought back from extinction. And there's alligators as well. Bahad asks, why doesn't Sally fly away? Sally was an injured animal. She was found by the side of the road in Oklahoma near a town called Sally Saw, which is why she's called Sally, by a car. And when the wildlife rehabber was done uh, getting her back to health, her wing was too broken to not. Is the children's zoo open now for them? To okay, the children's zoo is now open for everyone to come through and you can see Liberty, who is the eagle that we have in the children's zoo. A lot of people have asked me, is this the eagle that used to be in Children's Zoo? And no, she's a new one. We are looking to have a male for her, and we found one. It's a very long permit process through the federal government to uh, move a bald eagle from one place to the next, but there is a male. Oh, We do feed her fish, she gets trout, she gets capelin. So that's uh, part of what she would eat in the wild, but they'll also eat carrion if they find something dead. And they will hunt other animals. 
Raptors like Sally have incredibly good eyesight. And while they're flying up high, they can see something half a mile to a mile away and then go down and investigate what it is. You can see that she's got her head turned sideways. When she heard my voice just then, she looked. Because her eyes are on either side of her head, they, she will turn that way. But eagles have pretty good binocular vision too, which is what human ha humans have. They can look straight ahead and judge where something is in 3D space. Uh, are all bird exhibits open? We got that question. Um, there is one area called Pheasant Run, which is now closed to the public. So you may remember it. It was uh, a long exhibit with uh, uh, cages on both sides over by where the um, cassowary used to be. And that one is closed off, but all the other bird exhibits are open. And yes, you can get to the flamingos. It's a little bit difficult to find the path sometimes. That's a question I get a lot, but the flamingos are open. Uh, Debbie asks, will Sally get a mate? She will. We're, we have a male that we found for her. It is a long permit process to move a bald eagle because it's federally protected, but we do have a male coming. Also, the nest that you see in the exhibit is not a nest that she built. It's one that we built to show an example of what the nests look like. Bald eagles mate for life, and they return to the same nesting site every year, and they make it bigger and bigger every year. The biggest nest ever found was, the biggest nest ever found was about six feet across and almost 18 feet tall. The heaviest nest ever found was two metric tons and they used it for 34 years until the tree fell down. Uh, does she like to be out in the day or night is the question. She likes to be out all the time. We do have a building that we can put her in if we have a hurricane or during the freeze, we put her inside the building where it was warmer, but she does not go into the building. She would rather be outside. These animals live in the wild, so they wouldn't have any place to go during the, the tough winters, and they're, they're built for it. They're okay outside. Bald eagles can fly about 30 miles an hour on level flight when they're flying straight out. When they're diving, they can go as, as fast as 100 miles an hour. And if they catch a bird in flight, they hit them so hard at 100 miles an hour and their feet are so strong, that they often kill the animal, their prey, when they first grab it. Raptors, 30 miles an hour is pretty fast for a raptor. A raptor is any kind of hunting bird like this. A pigeon can actually outfly a raptor if it's in level flight. What does Sally eat? We feed her rats and mice, and we also feed her trout and capelin. Capelin is a freshwater lake fish. We buy the rats and mice from a company that sells them to us frozen like you would buy in a pet shop for your snake. We don't feed live food at the zoo. How long do baby eagles live with mom? Baby eagles will be in the nest with their mom um, over a period of about a year, but they may stay uh, around longer than that. It takes a long time for them to grow because they're so big and to learn all the stuff they need to know for hunting. So it depends on, uh, on the pair. Sometimes the juvenile will stay around for a year or more, and sometimes it'll leave earlier than that. on the sign. Bald eagles are divided into two different subspecies. A subspecies is 
when you have a species of animal like the eagle, and there's two different kinds, but they're not so different that they're different species. They may interbreed. So there's uh, the northern eagles are much larger than the southern eagles, almost twice as heavy. They'll, uh, she weighs about four and a half to five pounds. The northern eagles can weigh up to eight or nine pounds, and their wingspan is also larger. And the reason for that is it's easier for a bigger animal to regulate its body temperature in cold weather if it's heavier, if it has more mass. So the deer are also larger if you go up north than they are here in Texas. So the question is, how can we help save them in the wild? There are uh, organizations such as the Audubon Society, which do a lot of work in the, in, with um, conserving animals, or conserving birds in the wild. So you can um, join the Audubon Society or donate to them. There are also local Texas conservation organizations, and I'm sorry I don't know the names, but if you look online for Bald Eagle Conservation Texas, there will be organizations where you can either join and, and help them do field work, um, doing bird counts, and, or you can uh, just donate and help them out. You wouldn't necessarily be going out working with bald eagles if you joined them and did a bird count. A bird count is when they do uh, bird watching during migration, other times of the year, and just see who's in the habitat. So thanks for tuning in. We love talking to you. It's, I'm really glad that we can bring you into the zoo in this way. And uh, join in us Wednesday at 11 a.m. Which one is that? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs>